What's going on, everybody? This is Nickel7 with a, another review on an application for your iPhone and your iPod Touch. The application we're going to be looking at today is called iPhone Explorer. And let's open it up. Uh, it's already loaded, but while, uh, while you guys can look at the screen, let me explain to you uh, basically what it is. So, uh, if you have a regular iPod, you hook it up to your iTunes, open it up, do whatever you need to do. You can uh, do something called a uh, disk mode. And basically, what disk mode is, is it puts it uh, in a way where it's like a hard, uh, like an external hard drive, and you can add, drag and drop items uh, from your iPod to your computer, and you can also store stuff on your uh, iPod like uh, text files that you need to take with you uh, wherever you need to go. Now, unfortunately, iTunes does not let this. Uh, I'm not sure about the iPod touch, uh, about the touch, because I don't have one. But since it's part just like the iPhone, it probably doesn't have it. iTunes doesn't give you this option when it comes to the iPhone or the iPod Touch. So uh, you know we're at a little disadvantage there. You have all this cable, you have all this space with the new 32 gigs and the new 60, uh, 32 gig iPhones and the 64 iPod Touches. But you know we can only use them for music, but we can't use them to take files with us, which maybe some of us want to do. So this is what iPhone Explorer is basically what it does. It just takes your iPhone, uh, not iPhone, your I'm sorry, your iPhone or your iPod Touch and puts it in a uh, disk mode. It does not mess with anything inside it. It just, you know, pops it up and says, hey, you know what? I'm recognizing kind of like an external hard drive. It just finds the root for it and you can look inside and see the contents. So right here in front of you, you can see the contents. The main folder is uh, actually inside uh, your iPhone and it has all the, all the folders that are inside that let your iPhone run. Now, quick view of uh, the window. It just shows you uh, up arrow so you can keep going up, say if you know you keep going through the folders and you just want to go back to the to back where you previously was, uh, the help button if you get stuck for any reason, uh, and you also have these buttons down here. You have a refresh just to make sure you're looking at uh, what you were, make sure what you're looking at is the most newest stuff on your iPhone. Uh, the bookmarks you can also change your root, uh, your root directory, and then you also have auto preview which is set so you can see uh, so it previews you automatically. You don't have to go searching for stuff. And you also have um, new folder and delete since this is in disk mode it's basically like a flash drive so you can uh, you can add a folder in here and you can also uh, delete folders now just a warning to you guys do not delete anything that's already in here unless it's maybe a picture or a song you know you can do that through uh, iTunes for the music at least so I wouldn't really try to delete something from here that you don't know what you're messing with if you add a folder in here and you know what you're gonna delete that's fine but there's a word of caution. Do not delete what's already in your Fire iPhone or it might not work again. Or it might not work properly, better yet. And you also have uh, down here displays your capacity. So it's pretty simple. One gigabyte use, there's still seven available. So um, as you go through here, you have uh, the three folders I really was looking at was just the photos, uh, the iTunes controls, which your music is in there, and the DCIM. Now, uh, photos self explanatory. If you have a Mac and you're hooked up, uh, through iTunes, uh, through iPhoto, sorry, and you're syncing photos from iPhoto, that's where your photos are going to be at. However, if you take photos with your iPhone, they don't go into photos, which is kind of weird. It goes into a file called DCIM. And the DCIM folder right here is stored all the pictures you've taken with your um, iPhone, whether it be screenshots or pictures taken with the camera. Now, with the new 3GSs and with the video, I'm not sure how it works or where they're going to be stored. So if anybody uh, use uh, if anybody does that, you know, hit us up. Let us know where exactly all the videos store because I, I haven't messed with the new ones. I still have the first generation. Uh, so and once you open a folder, as you can see right here, I did. I opened the DCIM, then it showed all these Apple folders, and I just picked one. And you can just preview. You click on it, and it previews the pictures. So there you go. That's one of that's one of my nieces. So you can look at them very simply. It's a pretty simple interface. And the music is also very simple. You just uh, go down, say I want music, and this one right here. As you can see, right here it's loading, and you can you can sample it, and that's Queen there in the background for you for you guys right there. So you can sample music, you can look at the photos, and you can drag it out or or, or do whatever you want to do with it. So uh, we'll do a simple demonstration for the uh, for dragging out. So let's say we'll pick uh, this photo right here. So we're going to take this sucker and we're just going to drag it to the desktop. And there it is. And it copied exactly from the iPhone, from inside your iPhone to your desktop. So there's a photo. Good as if you had it on iPhoto. 
uh, I won't do the music because it might take a little while, but I will show you how to add a folder. So pretty simple. Just hit the hit the button. However, um, I'm going to hit the button, but it's going to show you a warning. So it says you have to pick a parent folder. And basically what it is, you have to pick somewhere to put the folder because you know, it just doesn't put it anywhere. So you have to click on this folder and you just add the folder. Uh, it's untitled right here. And you can drag and drop whatever you want. I have this file right here called monkey. So we'll drag that sucker in here. Make sure you put it in here. And it copied it in. So let's click on here. It refreshed itself. So here's untitled. Go in here and there is monkey. And you can drag it out. It's not, drag it out, it's not going to replace it. So it's the same thing. And then you can also delete. Make sure you're deleting what you've only added. So don't delete what you ha what's already there. So I'm deleting the untitled folder. So deleting it. You want to permanently delete it? Yes. And it's permanently gone from your iPhone. So after the so we've already looked at this. So let's uh, let's go to the website. So the website um, you guys can look up. You guys can Google iPhone Explorer if you want to, or you can go to www.iphone. Not slash. It's hyphen. Yeah, hyphen. Explorer.com and it brings you uh, to this website iPhone Explorer uh, if you guys have seen uh, my other video pod uh, to Mac it's actually titled I iPod and iPhone to Mac uh, I talk about uh, this website and it has a couple more downloads that you guys might want to take a look at but iPhone Explorer is basically what I said it puts your iPhone or iPod touch in disk mode and you can use it like a flash drive uh, there is two versions uh, out there there is one for the Mac and there one for the PC uh, it gives you your details down here. What do you need? You need uh, 10.5 or later. And down here you can use XP Vista or Windows 7 for those of you who have Windows 7. Uh, it gives you a little bit more rundown on all the features down here. Uh, it is 100% free for either one, so you guys don't have to worry about paying any fees or anything. So, And it is compatible uh, with all iPhones, iPod Touches, the new 3GS, the 3.1 software. I'm running three. Uh, the th the 3.0 software, sorry. I'm running 3.1 on my iPhone, so it works fine. And it works if your phone, your iPhone is jailbroken or it's not jailbroken. So you guys don't have to worry about that. So this has been uh, Nick07 with another video, uh, with this video for you guys. Uh, please rate, comment, uh, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, if you guys can't figure something out, leave me a mess. Uh, you can private message me. You can leave a comment below. Uh, please rate five stars. I'm trying to get my subscribers up there. And I'll see you guys all later with maybe another review or another unboxing. So, bye.